there's nothing like feeling young and free gonna leave it all behind all behind time goes by so fast time goes by So you know, <coughs> so, you, so you, you know how I mentioned that there wasn't enough snow and the ski resort opening had to be postponed? That was last night. Check this out. Apparently it was snowing all throughout last night, even today, and uh, we're expecting more snow and a blizzard to come over to Niseko. So check out the snow here. Look at that. Yesterday, all this, you can see the ground and the concrete. But today, it's all white. Pretty freaking awesome, right? So for all those of you who are coming to Japan, sometime next week and the week after, good news. I think the season is just about to start. <music> to give you a quick update of what's going on in uh, Naseko. It's the 4th of December. The good news is that it's been really snowing heavily the past two days. Uh, yesterday we got about 17 centimeters of snow at the base and the day before we had 10 centimeters. Before this apparently like it was raining and wet and there wasn't much snow and as a result they had to postpone their opening date. Um, till date the resorts are still not fully opened. Irafu which is nearest to me, none of the chalets are open. Uh, the resort next to us, Anapuri and uh, Niseko village, they have maybe one or two chalets that are open and these are really the, the lower chalets um, just for beginners. So it's not really worth going there to, to have a ski. But I think this is kind of like the turning point of the season where the snow really comes in to set the base and essentially the, the resorts will then open their slopes based on the snowfall that we get in this next few days. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm not really sure when it's gonna be open, probably in about a week or even lesser, but I hope it opens soon so that I can have some fun and enjoy and show you some clips of what it's like to ski. So I was thinking, oh, what's there to do? And I thought, hmm, maybe I should give you guys a review of the new toy that I just got, which is the GoPro Hero Max. This is essentially GoPro's second 360 camera. The first version was called the GoPro Fusion and apparently it's heaps better. In fact, my first episode was fully recorded on the GoPro Max. You can see that it has uh, two lenses um, that covers 360 and there are six mics as well. I'm not gonna go into details, but what I'm gonna do today is probably just go around just the neighborhood and shoot some stuff on the GoPro. Uh, maybe some of you are thinking of getting it for the season. So maybe this gives you some idea in terms of whether you should get one or not. Mm. What's cool is also, I went crazy and uh, got this aftermarket... <sighs> what the hell? What's here? <laughs> aftermarket um, selfie stick. Because the thing about the Hero Max is that it stitches the footage from within the camera and essentially the stick disappears. So you can use super long poles and what you end up having is footages that are like um, drone shots, right? And you can't really fly drones in the ski resort. So having a long pole would be awesome for you to you know get that effect. And I thought it was 106 centimeters, but it's actually 106 inches, which is bloody long. Look at that. <laughs> That's crazy. Let's see how it looks like. Woohoo! This is not fully extended yet. Let's see what happens when we extend it. Okay, this is about halfway. Okay, that was halfway. So let's do all the way. There is nothing like feeling young and free. Gonna leave it all behind, all behind.
some good news. As I was recording that, I received a message from some friends. And guess what? I don't know whether you can see this. It says that Hirafu will be open tomorrow for the season, officially. So we get to ride tomorrow. So I'm super stoked. Check out this hands-free gig that I set up with my backpack. Hands free! I'm looking to get a season pass. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Is it okay? Yeah. You know, if you do this, so you have to you have to pay three thousand five hundred yen. Bro, check out the photo. Like it's. <laughs> <laughs> I just got my uh, ski pass sorted. Well, they do photo ID now, but it's really funny because you can't really tell it's me. I've got the all mountain season pass. Essentially, allows me to go to Hirafu, Anapuri, as well as Hanazono for the entire season. And it cost me a thousand six hundred and twenty-five Singapore dollars, um, but all this will be covered by my company anyway. So as you already know, the slopes are going to be open tomorrow. Let's show you a quick preview of the slopes right now. It's not groomed. <laughs> it's not special either. You can see a lot of grass still. So the season is officially going to be open tomorrow. When you're early in the season, this is what happens when you visit one of the most popular restaurants here. 